As the 2023 general elections draw near, the Association of Beauty Pageants and Fashion Exhibition Organizers in Nigeria is set to sensitize Nigerian youth on how to participate actively and exercise their voting rights. The new president of the association, Olufunsho Alexander, who disclosed this at the inauguration of newly elected leaders, said they are committed to mobilizing and educating Nigerians towards voting a credible leader. Benedict Uku has more. Amidst social vices bedeviling the country, many believe that the pageant industry can contribute to ending some of the challenges and unify the nation through entertainment. With over 11 million of its members spread across the country, the newly elected president, Association of Beauty Pageants, and fashion exhibition organizers of Nigeria, Olufunsho Alexander Ajabonahas, has disclosed that the association is set to sensitize Nigerian youth to participate actively and exercise their voting rights in the 2023 general elections. The president, while inaugurating newly elected leaders across the country, said that the association is committed to unifying Nigerians. Part of our strategy to reach out to the grassroots is to get involved uh, the state's chairman, to involve the state chairman, appoint state chairman to uh, reach out to the uh, to the grassroots in their, in their state. Because we realize that most of the local governments have pageants, you know, and uh, we here will not be able to uh, identify them or to uh, reach out to them. So we decided to break it down to state level where we have chairmen to add, also appoint local government uh, directors to oversee the activities of pageants within their local government. We, as pageant organizers, we believe that uh, we are one of the major stakeholders in the entertainment industry. Why? Because you can't take away fashion and beauty from the entertainment. We can do this without the support of the entertainment industry generally and we are working so hard and that's why we have director of uh, of uh, partnership and uh, 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 partnership and uh, uh, in, in director of industry and part, part, industry harmonization and partnership department okay. to make sure that uh, we we harmonize. we harmonize while highlighting some of the core mandates of the association, the National Secretary Raymond Jefferson disclosed the mission and plans of the association in ending social vices through entertainment. Our members, uh, which have grown to up to 11.3 million people across the 36 states of the Federation, including FCT, have been reluctant and docile towards participating in election. We have decided that we are going to use the state chairman um, to actually have some sort of uh, seminars and um, across all states where Nigeria our members will be made to understand the importance of active participation in the incoming, uh, incoming election. We are going to be mobilizing our young persons, we are going to be mobilizing our members and we are going to be fully involved in the 2023 election. We don't have plans yet on who we are going to adopt or not. We are not going to disclose that, of course. But one thing we know for sure is that the association would adopt someone that is entertainment inclined, someone who can support our goals and objectives, and someone who would see this association for what it is. The standing committee, zonal directors, and state chairman who spoke at the inauguration also disclosed ways the association can sensitize youth against drug abuse. And beyond being a beautiful face, you know, we have the strength to unify not just young people, but women, and most importantly, to give a ray of hope, you know, regardless of your age, your looks, your size, you can achieve and you can be more. So what would this committee do first? we would enable an environment that allows for mentorship, sponsorship, development, growth, integration, and leadership. Because it's not enough for government to carry guns and be standing on the road. So these things, you know, these social vices can be curbed with 
the help of empowering young people, especially young women, so they don't continue to depend on the whims and caprices of all this, um, our own really young people. Even as beauty pageant has been criticized for promoting cultural vestiges and uniting the country, the stakeholders in the country have said that the association is committed to making change for common Nigerians.